There are a few different ways of answering this question. Um, the easiest way, especially for the way this question set out, is to count the squares. So first of all, let's have a look and see what range we're doing. We're doing from 10, so from 10 to uh, 40. So we need two things. We need to know, first of all, how many big squares, and we might as well count big squares. There are between those two, um, uh, 10 and 40. And we need to know how many there are in total. So let's just have a count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So that's 11 tools. So that's going to be 22 in that rectangle. Uh, that's going to be 10 high. So that's going to be 10 big squares. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So that's going to be 14 big squares. And this little section here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I can use a calculator if, if it's on the calculator uh, paper. So let's add those together, and that's going to be 52. So there's 52 in total in that middle region. But we need to know how many big squares there are in total. So we go count the other ones. So 1, 2, so that's going to be 6, so that's going to be 12. And that's the same height, so that's also going to be 12, because it's 6 and 6. So we're going to add the two 12s on. So there's 76 all together. So total is 76. So it says it wants it to two decimal places. So it doesn't want it as a fraction because as a fraction it's 52 over 76. So 52 divided by 76 is going to be 0 0.6842 blah blah blah. So that's going to be 0 0.6842 eight to two decimal places. Now what you could have done is worked out the areas of each of the bars to get something that's maybe proportional to the frequency and then done it that way. But if you can count the squares it's just much easier and quicker. And sometimes you've got to sort of count half squares or um, little squares um, and find a way of doing that. But that's absolutely fine. When you're working with proportions the actual amounts don't matter.